Hey guys, this is Karis and welcome to another episode of Survival Over Done. Thank you for joining me once again in Gaia. The, we have a little bit bad news and good news at least. The bad news is there yet again was another update and again broke the save games. But the good news about that is the developer brought out the random map again or the procedural map, however you want to call it, and that is why the save games broke because of a new function in the game again. We tested it a while back, but it was just uh, way too much bugs to start using it. So the developer made a lot of changes and it seems like it's now um, much more stable. I've done a few minutes, uh, 5 or 10 minutes or so in a, a random map mode and it looks really good. So I thought let's continue with that since we already saved, uh, lost our save game and that it became corrupt. Let's start new and there's no biomes yet um, he's still working on that but it's a bit later down the line he said so i thought we can continue our series but do it with a random uh, the random map one so i'm just bringing you guys in to see how i didn't change anything here and we will start soon here but i just want to explain to you it does take about three to four minutes um, map will take every anywhere between 2 to 10 minutes in the description say but with my computer I see it takes about 2 to 4 minutes so it does take a while before the map generates completely so I'm going to pause the recording here and I will bring you in once we are fully loaded up so it will load a bit and then it will show you the process of what it's loading and that is a long part it's uh, spawning the grass and so on because it's um, random and procedural there is a lot of things to process so we'll see you in a bit okay I've just loaded in just want to make sure everything is working as it should I uh, just want to check the time the only downside is when you it loads that long the problem is your water and food already starts <laughs> to go down so you have to get everything fast up and running a twist, I was still that twist of the foot. Okay, let's quickly grab everything and see what we can do. I'll, but in the previous time, uh, you didn't. It didn't matter what you chose with those settings, those sliders to change the world, the world parameters basically. You always um, add a lot of mountains, big mountain ranges etc and it was it made things quite difficult just want to check what we have looks like we have copper here and <clears throat> where are we gonna start I wonder what this ground is Let's see if we have ammo yes ammo and water the problem is now we don't uh, know where everything is as I said, in a random world, it's random, so nothing is in a set place as it was in a test map that we used to play with. So just want to see a nice clear area. And just checking if there's um, <coughs> monsters nearby. I don't want to build close to monsters. Like annoying rabbits. For you guys that's new, the uh, Rompos, there's alien life on this planet. Called Rompos. Rompos or something along those lines. But I call them annoying rabbits because they run up to you and scratch you basically. And a small white hair like animals. I think this is a nice spot. We can build, start building from here, going out that way. So what we need is the floors. Yes, okay, so I think this is nice. Oh, good. Um, what do you guys think? I know we'll start building before you guys can give a comment. 
I don't want to be far from resources. Maybe here. Okay, but we must start higher because otherwise if we go into high train, <coughs> we won't be able to continue. So how about here? Okay, we can build this way. Yes, why not? It seems like uh, usually the start, starting spot isn't too bad place. I'm going to keep with the current where I used to do everything. And it seemed to work out well for me in the past. So why not? And this side I think <coughs> was over like this for a farm. And farm uses power so we can't use that now. What do we start with with farm no energy main assembler I think right? Yes, main assembler. Main assembler put here. Okay, then we go grab some bubble root. I think it's usually that we need two. For what was that again? For the Go to know it was an energy assembler, right? Bubble root, yes, and copper. So let's see what we have here. I know we have copper, I saw the copper. So I'm going to see if we have <coughs> chrysophrase. Chrysophrase is a very important ore in this map. Seems like there's an animal there. Yep, uh, Bargesh. So we'll have to take care of that uh, very soon. But we need some bloodstone for that as well. Okay, water is at least close, so that's where um, the pouches, uh, gel pouches, will spawn at. I don't need to see chrysophrase. This is actually an issue. Let's quickly go see by this uh, rock formation. Usually all the ores spawn at rock formations. Um, if you want tips and tricks uh, how this game run, check out my um, guide series. It's also linked on the Steam, app, Steam page. I try to explain most things there, but I will redo it in the future as the game evolves and progresses. I'm just trying to listen if we can year monsters my quite still copper a lot of copper so we can actually build a massive base because all the base um, the buildings for a base building uh, I know that's confusing the parts let's call it parts for a base building is made from copper it's usually one copper and you get four items Oh, there's a wolf. If it howls at you, you better run. Because <laughs> it calls in a pack. Usually the steps give you that information. That was uh, one. Okay. <coughs> That's just an explanation about the pre-alpha stall. We're still in early pre-alpha. Okay, here's bloodstone. There's a annoying bunny. Annoying rabbit. That sound that you just heard. There it is. Try to shoot it usually, um, because they usually make life difficult for you. That um, hit markers is a new addition to the game as well. Just give me a second, let me bring up everything that is new, then I, we can go through that also while we play. One second. Okay, I've quickly checked the tips, oh not the tips, the uh, uh, update notes. Okay, quick going just quickly running through them. Uh, something major those bug or what beetle sanctuary that I call it seems like it's called a ancient ruins. So, uh, well, kind of makes sense, but I call it the bug set or beetle set sanctuary because there was usually beetles by it. That was taken out with the procedural maps or the random maps. Um, because it seems like it made something weird with a spawning or something. Oh, there's diamond. Okay, so we have diamond and a bear close by. 
Okay, but we still need crucifrase, that's our problem. Um, so, okay, back to the notes, uh, wave attacks. Uh, in the trailers there is drop ships that drops aliens on on your close to you. That was taken out of the game for a while, just for a while we tested it. It that that was also brought back now. So later game you will have that. And they change the way the all the waves attack you now. Usually they just attack the and um, what's this? You wanna see what's this? Purple fungus. Huh. Okay, well, I haven't seen a recipe that does that yet, or uses that yet. So maybe it comes later. Oh, remember we got the narcotics, maybe... Or drugs, not narcotics, drugs. If you quickly bring up this, decryption tree... Um, drugs. Maybe it uses this. I haven't gone that far yet, guys, so I'm not sure. Why is my light turning off? Oh well. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the waves that attacks you. It usually goes to random... I'm not sure how, what the code was for that actually, to be honest. But now there's a more definite way it will attack you. It will either attack you... There is some randomness, just want to add that. They will firstly attack things that has ammo in it. Either Amanda, if it has, if she has ammo, or turrets, if it has ammo. If a turret isn't, doesn't have ammo, it could be that the wave sees it as a non-threat and won't attack it and go to the next available target. Usually your buildings, your building structures, etc. So, um, there's that. But it's still, there is still a slight chance that it will attack you either way, even if you don't have an have any threat to it or towards it. So just to make some randomness in a game, but mostly it will go after um, something with ammo in it. That's a danger. I really don't know where we're gonna find crucifrase, guys. Every time I turn this bug pops up. In any case, okay. So that's that. Um, it seems like some people had issues with pooping. That something goes wrong. I have not had that before. Or, or no, uh, you rest and it passes a uh, night, which I haven't found yet. But what we have, we've seen in a previous episode, guys, is that when we sleep, you get a rest, but the night doesn't pass, so you have to waste another day to sleep, and then it will pass the night by. So that was fixed. Let's see, we have a monster attacking us. Oh, there's two mobs in one again, it seems. Was it just me, or did I see? Oh, man. I could have sworn I saw two health bars there. Um, what was I saying again? Oh no, bargacious. Okay, this is going to be a problem if it can't find Chrysophrase. Maybe I overlooked it. Um, oh, the passing the night, that was what I was getting at. So that was fixed. Um, we also had the error where we transferred, I think it was copper, from a cabinet over to our own inventory. And it didn't transfer, but the items disappeared. It seems like um, it was an issue with, a, with another cabinet next to it. So it must click that cabinet, basically. And so there was something wrong with that. And that is what the issue was. That should also have been solved or sorted. So, um, and also waves won't attack you anymore on the first day. 
So even if you get quite far in the first day, which is very unlikely, they should not attack you. Um, what's more of? Oh, and do you remember we when the turrets did fire at the the um, wildlife, it um, missed most of the shots. It this should not be the case anymore. That was also given attention. The bullets will also travel a bit faster now. So if it fires at the enemy and the enemy I mean, does move, it has a greater chance to hit it now because it goes the bullet travels faster. So quite a lot of fixes here. I there's about 20 fixes on a list. I'm just basically showing you ones that's more relevant to us, ones that we've seen and experienced ourselves, rather than just go through the whole list. It, what there was some visual glitches that was fixed as well. Also not ones that I experienced myself. Um, shaders and new materials was added to a train. Clouds is a bit better now. Um, it does take a little bit more performance. Actually, I dropped below 60 frames a second. Now that I see it. Running 50 frames. There's Chrysophrase. Great, so we found Chrysophrase. So once again, we just have to kill the annoying bunnies. And there is a sand scorpion. How are we doing? Should eat food. Let's quickly chow down on some food. And some water. Okay, then we can grab some chrysophrase. We should have actually built here. Yeah, so remember guys, do a little bit of exploring before just starting your base. Make sure you have the resources close by. We can still move, but I'm not going to do it now. Okay, what time is it? Seems like it's getting dark already. Yep. There's a lot of sand scorpions. Okay, so there's a whole rock formation just with chrysophrase, a whole rock for formation just with copper close by us. Yes, this, this is nice. All the chrysophrase. So our base isn't too far at least, it's not as far as that previous or the test map where we had to go far for gold and diamond I think. There we don't, did see the diamond on that one rock formation close by us. So I think this is enough for now. What's this at the top left corner? Oh, it's just rock formation. Almost looks like diamond. How many bullets do I have left? 80. Ouch. Okay, so I hope we have enough chrysophrase for now. Because <clears throat> I don't want to travel too far from base before we haven't gotten set up yet. Oh, lovely. Going along the route again. Dirty sanity. So we have some cows to kill for some food. Okay, we have this tube. What, what's this called again? At least close by us. As well, not that we use it a lot yet. Glow tubes, that's the one. But at least we do have it, and there's a lot of copper. I think we should have built closer to there. Or in the middle between a copper and a chrysophrase, that would have been nice. And, but yes, so I should not know. Yes, we can't break up actually because we don't have um, a main assembler anymore. Ah, oh, come on. So that wasn't fixed yet. Craft energy assembler, mixturized decoder, we need to decoder copper. Oops, wrong button. Okay, what did we get? A decoder, energy assembler. Do that. Okay, it's both. I think let's go grab copper for <coughs> decryptor. 
this is uh, if you follow the beginner guide as well guys you'll see that you should usually start off with the energy assembler the decoder and the mixturizer that's one of that's your first main priorities so just remember that and oh come on and um, focus on that first because that will make your life much easier the decoder you should also get as fast as possible but prioritize also yeah it's a priority game you have to <laughs> see if you can put everything simultaneously basically because of how important everything is you see both uh, energy assembler and decoder and mixturizer is basically the same importance because decoder gives you more research to your decryption of the research tree oh I'm falling over my word sorry and the energy assembler gives you power to run your other buildings and the mixturizer did not we learn mixturizer build it Let's see quickly mixturizer so yes and the mixturizer gives you water because you run out of water fast and you need to grab that quite fast so mixturizer right there okay now we have the beginning of a base it does look more shadowy and foggy under the clouds that's actually cool so the developer did say he's gonna focus a little bit more on um, on the um, visuals now crucial phrase just enough and we're gonna need more batteries okay so we're gonna run around a little bit more Um, yes, as I said, he's going to focus a little bit more on the visuals. Also, um, because once he wants the game to look nice and, well, I second him because it already looks great. But it is here and there things that does bug me a bit. Like the, um, the what do you call it? The, um, in here, you can barely see what is what. See, there's a slight copper color there and a slight green color there, but you have to really look at it. So just, if the if your whole inventory is full, it's very difficult to differentiate between the colors. So what, he, uh, what the developer did before is he just made temporary um, graphics and textures for the items in your inventory. <coughs> it did help a lot. And I think he reverted now back to the original ones, these ones. The same one as the actual ores in the world has. But I th think he will work now on it because he did mention he's going to do it while he's focusing on the visual aspects of the game. So yes, we did a lot, covered a lot of updates and stuff now, guys. Uh, just want to grab some power. If we have that. I will let you go. And we will see you in the next episode then. But I think we still have a few minutes. How many bullets? 80. Oh, that cow is annoying. Annoyingly loud. So I hope it didn't bug you guys too much. Just want to mention again, I have some sound issues with the recording software. I'm not sure where the problem lies. I've tried a very big professional mic. Even though I have a very nice mic. I've tried, um, I've borrowed someone's mic that has professional recording um, hardware and so on, and that didn't seem to solve the issue, so it should be something on my computer or with the recording software, but before when I used this recording software on my older computer, it didn't have that, so I'm unfortunately thinking it's something to do either with my computer or something with the current windows or driver combination that I have running so I will still check to see if I can solve that at this moment I have 90 frames it seems 60 frames oh it's because I'm looking at the dark part oh yes I forgot this fun part <laughs> when you don't have a bed yet I'm walking forward because I'm sliding off backwards ever so slightly. Okay.
it's run. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna last long. There's water or gel pods, but we need energy first before we can work with gel pods. Any case, so that's the main. F oh no, they, they see me. Sometimes you can run away from them if you're lucky, uh, especially if you're on a mountain. They struggle sometimes with the pathfinding up a mountain and then you can run away with the, for them but this rather flat area I don't think they will lose you with pathfinding no. seems like we just heard him they didn't see us yet so that was great <clears throat> this also looks nice don't know if he updated it but it does look somewhat nice now. Well, not just now, but maybe it's a way the light falls in. Oh, come on, I keep forgetting to, about that. Oh, and we, in any case, need the energy assembler. Close this. We need the generator. I think at least two. And now we can't make a battery. Oh, it's just copper. Okay, so that's great. That's easy to get. <coughs> Excuse me. There is um, food there, so great. Ooh, where am I now? I know there's some visual bugs still, but that will also be fixed. This, this, remember once again, guys, this is early pre-alpha, not just pre-alpha, it's early pre-alpha. So once again, comes in pre-alpha, most of this major bugs would be fixed and then it's just balancing and <clears throat> the the rare box that does still pop up so just keep that in mind I'm crafting two batteries because that is quite um, important because what I thought of guys is I'm gonna I think I still have some floors free so I want to do this and make a hole here and um, make the foundation or the floors make a gap here because now you don't have to waste floor space for your generators you can just put it on the ground oh and it's so dark now oh i can barely see Okay, I'm gonna pick this up because I think it's um, in a way um, you can only pick up the the starting um, floors it's indestructible so if you guys wondered why you can pick it up okay we can bring it forward quite easy I hope you guys can see that sorry um, unfortunately the developer took out the function of increasing the light so you can't um, e edit it in game anymore well i think it's kind of good for all games not to do that because if you really want to be cheaty in a way you can make it so bright that you it never gets dark so what's the point in that so they usually were the options in game and um, the sliders here for the nighttime brightness and daytime brightness. So yeah, so he took that away. So I hope you guys can see. Sorry about if you can't. I'll in any case in the episode here soon. Oh, I can't bleed here anymore. Okay, so we'll just go two out. Not a problem. And two batteries. Okay, you need power and batteries, or generators and batteries, sorry. Because the batteries store the energy and with the power it generates batteries. And then in P again, you can see how many energy you produce and how many energy you need. So we have enough energy, so let's make a farm. You start off with the farm once again. You can create more farms. 
later and it also gives you a tip when you do the farm. Uh, wrong button, sorry. So you just use P and you go to farm, choose what you want to plant. If later if you do crypt, more farming options. Um, you can have other um, vegetables and so on, like it says carrots and onions. Here it's cucumbers, leeks and aubergines. But at the moment you can only plant lettuce. It only gives free hunger, but it's a lifesaver in the beginning, believe me. So let's decrypt now. I haven't started decrypting. So this is very important, guys. You must start decryption as soon as possible. And I recommend smelting. Once again, you can check my playlist for the beginner guide. I explain there what's going to happen or why. Because I can let me quickly go over to it again because you get the forge that you can melt metal bars and you need metal bars for turrets. So your priority basically is to get to turrets and for the fence basically. So that is why that is a priority. And in the in the um, <coughs> beginner guide I basically take you from the beginning up to turrets to show you how that is done. So when I see the developer change the lights a little bit it still looks awesome it just did some of the reflection if I remember the patch notes correctly I remember there was multiple lights and I think the shadowing about that there was something that took too much resources it was too resource intensive to process all the shadows if I remember, remember the finer details now so okay I think that's it for this episode guys, we're gonna continue in the next episode, we will gather more resources and advance in the research tree, I'm gonna do some of the decryption offline, or off cam, sorry, and try to get us as far, as far as I can, before we get to high wealth, I think we're already in high wealth, uh, that means we can get attacked here soon, I'm just gonna check how many bullets we don't have a lot of bullets so yes yeah so it's quite a lot of management um, needs management in this game and resource management is very crucial and when and what you build next so yes so feel free to look have a look at the beginner guide that will give you nice tips or it can give you ideas what to do if you want to go a different route that's all fine if that's just basically just one player suggestion and yes, thank you for coming to join me once again. Oh, <laughs> nice. So this is new. It automatically goes lie down <laughs> when you get spooked. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember in a previous one I did say the developer implemented insanity again. So yes, remember to go, you press N to light down to rest and to get leisure and it will take away your insanity. So yes, now we can't do anything, so we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, in anyway, case, as I was saying, thank you for coming to watch me again, guys. Um, please look in the description for links to my social media and to my website. There's a lot of interesting things going on my website. And yes, please subscribe and leave a like or a dislike if you prefer. And please comment. I uh, appreciate comments and I try to reply to them. Um, well, for now, I can reply to them all, but uh, if it gets a lot, it's going to struggle. But I will definitely try my best to reply to all of them. And then I will see you in the next one. Cheers.